Hello, welcome to our first episode of uh, How to Better Read Tarot Cards. How to Learn Tarot! I'm going to guide you through this. This is going to be our introductory one. But I'll uh, guide you through some of the history, some of the things you need to get started. And in later episodes, we'll delve more into the deck and what's going on. Teach you how to walk you through how to, how to read tarot cards. Anyway, so let's get started today. Uh, first, for a real quick, very quick, brief history on what tarot cards are. Basically, in the mid-15th century, um, tarot was a card game. So there's a bunch of dudes sitting around playing spades, hearts, cribbage, and some other people come along and they're like, hey, let's play tarot, man. This We got this cool deck. We're going to play tarot. It's cool. It's fun. Apparently, the game is still played today. I don't know the rules. I don't know if it's fun or not, but uh, if you want, you can probably Google, find the rules of tarot, check it out, see what you think. Along around the late 18th century, there were some... Uh, French people that came along, they were labeled as occultists because they started using them for divination. Uh, personally, I think that was a bunch of baloney. What this really happened is there were a bunch of French nerds out there who started playing some Dungeons and Dragons and they were using these cards to help them along as visual aids, as tools, right? They're like, all right, my friends, tonight we're going to uh, enter the ancient temple of the sun goddess uh, Trisha. And uh, here it is. Here's the temple. You got to get to the inner chamber. You're entering the outside. Let's see what happens in the first room. Oh my goodness. This, it's the six of cups. Oh, you've got to answer this riddle or forever be stuck. All right. So maybe not exactly like that, but I guarantee that's what it was. It's just a bunch of nerds. And anyone playing D&D is always labeled as, a, you know, satanic or an occultist or whatever. That's what happened. Trust me. Okay. So that's enough brief history. Let's get down to, to business here. What do you need? You want to read tarot. What do you need? Well, the first thing you need, obviously, is cards. Duh. You can't really read cards if you don't have cards, right? <clears throat> well, the good thing is there are a lot of cards out there. They come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, whatever. You find the deck that's good for you. Um, I would suggest going out somewhere like uh, thespunkycauldron.com. They've got plenty of uh, tarot decks out there you can check out. Find one that works for you. You know, there's uh, there's big decks, there's small decks. There's decks with dragons, fairies. Um, there's the standard rider deck like this. I went and got myself a uh, Game of Thrones themed deck because I like Game of Thrones. Uh, so there's themed decks. There's, there's decks with uh, pictures of boobies and wieners on them. If you don't like boobies and wieners, don't get that deck. If you do, hey, there you go. There's something for everyone out there. You find what, uh, what you enjoy, get that deck, sit with it, and enjoy it. Um, okay, so now you've got your deck of cards. What do you, what's next? Well, one thing you're going to have to learn if you're going to if you're going to read cards to yourself or other people is you're going to have to know how to shuffle those cards. Okay, well, if you've never shuffled a deck, that may be a little intimidating. So here's some quick ways to shuffle. Right, one's the old uh, like the Las Vegas. You see it on the poker tournament, and you also see little kids shuffle this way, just the scrambled egg style. Throw them out, mix them up, boom, shuffle. We're good to go. A little bit of a pain putting them back together, but it gets the job done. Oh, there's a mistake. We'll get to that later, what that means. I threw one on the floor. That means the universe really wants you to have that card, right? Um, there's always the, uh, the, the Magic the Gathering Pokemon Shuffle, where people put sleeves on their cards so they protect them from getting hurt while they play with them. And then what they do is they just deal them out into piles, and they deal and deal until they've gone through the whole deck and then they just stack them back up and put them together simulate shuffling it works pretty good they might do it a second or time or a third time or how many they they feel they need until they're shuffled um of course there's always the old standard uh riffle shuffle right you just boom got them shuffled good to go um so there's there's those ways. Uh, the ones you always see in the videos is kind of the cut the deck over and over and over shuffle. So we just take slices and we're going to keep slapping them together. Slap them together. Slap them. Slap them. Boom. Slice. 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 The fun thing, like I told you earlier, if you screw up, it's okay. Because that means the universe wants you to have that card. So if you're doing this and you go, whoops-a-daisy. Oh, well, that card. And... Uh, Whoops, those cards are meant for your spread. So let's turn them over and see what you got. The universe really wants you to have these. Ooh, yes, I see. So good. <clears throat> there we go. So anyways, find a method to shuffle. Practice. Remember, you don't have to be good because if you screw up, 
That just means the universe wants you to have that card, right? Bulletproof. Uh, next thing, you've got your cards. You've been practicing shuffling. Next thing is uh, you need a, a, a persona. Who's actually reading these cards to other people or to you yourself? The way I see it is like when, I, when I'm reading a book to myself, do I hear my own voice? Do I hear someone else's voice? Uh, you got to figure that out. What do you want to hear? I know when I'm reading a book to myself, I sure don't want to hear my own voice. Um, I've got all sorts of crazy voices, but I mean, there's a lot of crazy voices in my head. So it makes sense that they're coming out when I read. <clears throat> so when I'm reading the cards, though, I usually go back to a channel, an old coach from high school, Coach Chuck Muskrat. He was kind of a hard ass, but he got results done, right? And I feel that's what I need when I'm reading my cards. So, you know, Chuck's like, all right, cards, the wife just called and uh, it's chicken pot pie night, so we're not going to horse around here. We're going to get this done. We're going to do it quick. We're going to do this right. Any of you gives me any lip, I'm going to send you back to the deck or you're going to do push-ups till, you till your arms fall off. All right, let's go. That's Chuck. He's a good man. Um, maybe, maybe you don't want an old crusty coach like that. Maybe you want someone, maybe you want someone with a cool accent. All right, I'm looking at your cards here. I see you've got, oh, the death card. That can't be good. Perhaps we just, uh, maybe we scrap the lot and we go back to the bar and get pissed. I think that'll work out better for you tonight. <clears throat> so that's an option. Or maybe there's, uh, like, an old wise prophet. You want to use their cool voice. Oh, looking at your cards, there's a lot of turmoil, some temperance. I see some swords. And this regal-looking fellow... Well, a chalice, what do I, maybe we need to have a toast before we get started. We really need to talk this over, my friend. So whatever you choose, find a voice, find an identity. They need an identity. Maybe you call yours, um, you know, Madam Ruby or Amazing Larry, Miss Cleo, the Great Gazoo, whatever name you want to give them, whatever works for you. You maybe use that voice when you're reading to other people. Practice. It'll be fun. Whatever enhances the experience for you. Uh, what works for you, that's what this is all about. This is your reading. Make it your own, own it. Anyways, I think that's enough. Uh, I think that's a pretty good intro. You've got some homework, go find yourself some cards, sit with them, learn what the cards look like, you know. What, um, start going through, what, what numbers are there? What, uh, what uh, suits are there? Uh, we'll, get over the, we'll get into that in later videos, but just get to know your deck. Let's get started. I hope you enjoyed, hang in there. I'm pulling for you.